All right, with more on this, let's bring in Lieutenant Steve Rogers, a former Navy Lieutenant Commander, former member of the FBI Joint Terror Task Force, uh, who now sits on the 2020 Advisory Board for President Trump's campaign. Lieutenant, thanks for joining me. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. I want to start um, with the developing situation we just saw there south of the border moving toward our border. Based on what you're hearing regarding Middle Eastern terrorists in that caravan, how likely are we to see a full military response, full military involvement at the border ready to take action? Well, to begin with, this is indeed a very critical national security issue that at least in my lifetime, we now have a president who's making uh, very good decisions and is going to take decisive action to make sure that uh, no terrorist or anyone who uh, is attempting to commit any illegal act in this country is not going to enter our nation. So, look, there's always a possibility that a terrorist will cross the border. When I worked at the FBI National Joint Terrorism Task Force after 9-11, our greatest concern was terrorists crossing that border. And look, they're not going to cross that border with uh, firecrackers. They're going to cross that border with deadly, deadly weapons. And our president uh, knows very well that this could happen. And uh, he's going to take the action necessary. And if it takes the U.S. military to stop him, believe me, President Trump says what he means and he means what he says. Well, from a from a policing standpoint, what's what's possible in Mexico? We hear what the president, he's all in on making sure that we've got that border protected. What's possible in Mexico? What what do you feel the president would like to see being done by Mexican law enforcement? How do you stop 7,000 people? Well, the president has made it clear he wants them. In fact, not only their law enforcement agencies, but perhaps their military will have to get involved and stop them, especially coming south of the Mexican border. Uh, so they're going to have to engage these people. Look, they have the ability to arrest them and to deport them, but they're going to have to take decisive action. And uh, look, the president is using the dollars. He's using uh, uh, money. Uh, the aid could stop. And you know what? A lot of these politicians in Mexico don't want to see that aid to stop. So so he's using every bit of leverage he could before they reach the U.S.-Mexican border. Where, where do you see this going, uh, Lieutenant Rogers? Where do you, where do you see this headed? As, uh, as obviously the midterms are coming up, uh, the Democrats are, are using uh, a lot of this as a, as a pulpit, so to speak. Um, where, do you, where do you see this going uh, as we get closer to the midterms and going forward as far as uh, continue? This is now the second large caravan to come through um, in, in recent uh, months. This is going to backfire terribly on the Democrats. Look, I've spoken to people, no matter what political party that they belong to, they get it. They understand that drugs is going to be crossing that border. The opioids are killing our, 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 our youth in this nation. They're coming from uh, the, that southern border. We've got possible weapons being smuggled across that border. We've got maybe even young children in human trafficking crossing that border. They know. When I say they, people from both parties know that President Trump has this right watch what happens on november 6th there's going to be a red storm that's going to stop that blue wave all right uh, switching gears here tonight you'll be doing a facebook live broadcast and you say uh, that people should not they do not want to miss this before they uh, go to their uh, voting booths on november 6th uh, the question you'll be addressing is quote is the new democrat socialist party using lenin's communist party playbook is this the key to understanding the democrat approach what can we expect tonight well, it sure is. I'm going to explain in detail how the Democrat playbook actually mirrors the playbook of Lenin and Stalin. Look, it began with, and the Democrats have made it very clear, begins with demonizing God. Take God out of the schools. Take God out of your families. Take God out of your life. So that's number one. Number two, corrupt the youth. Feed them information that they'll believe. We're talking about the government becomes your God. The government gives you health care. The government gives you free education and on and on and on. So I'll explain in detail on my Facebook Live tonight how the Democrat playbook mirrors the beginning of the Bolshevik Revolution, that playbook of Stalin and Lenin. All right, well, uh, you've been described by some in New Jersey as, quote, one of the few pundits who actually predicted uh, the Trump presidential win in 2016. That's, I'm sure you're very proud of that. Um, on, you're on the advisory board now, as I mentioned, for the Donald J. Trump for uh, president 2020. The president holding a massive rally in Texas tonight. Is this a preview of the campaign trail that we're going to see leading into 2020? This is the mega of all MAGA rallies tonight. 
Oh, it sure is. Look, I've got to tell you, uh, I've been to some of the rallies, and how does one explain not 10,000, but 30, 40, 50,000 people showing up all the time with people clamoring to get through those doors? So when we hear about polls and we hear the Democrats are, are, are feeding to the American people that the popularity of this president isn't good, i got to tell you, it's great. It's better now than it was when he originally ran for office. So I'm very confident 2020 landslide for President Donald J. Trump. One last thing. Uh, Lieutenant Rogers, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but beside you on our screen, thousands and thousands of people, if we can put it back up, uh, of people tailgating. What, what goes through your mind when you see these crowds waiting outside these arenas when you think of 2020? Two things go, uh, are on my mind. One is President Donald Trump be, has always been able to tap into the heart, soul, and the spirit of the American people. And he's also a president who a lot of people don't uh, know about, and maybe they should. He has a deep faith in God. He believes in the power of prayer, and he believes that somehow, some way, through the prayers of the people uh, uh, leading him and guiding him, we're going to get this country back together, and we're going to see great things for our future. And they are living testament to what what is actually happening in the Trump world today. All right, Lieutenant Steve Rogers sitting on the, uh, the board, on the advisory board for the Donald J. Trump for President 2020 campaign. Thank you so much for joining us today. Pleasure. Thank you. All right. Uh